When did science become uncool, tedious, dare I say, boring? For a long time, Americans led the way in science and technological innovation. Or at least we used to lead the way. Will we become the world's leading consumers of science and technology rather than its leading producers? Will we have to rely on China and India for technical innovation, the way we rely on the Middle East for oil today? Will the United States continue to be a world leader? Whatever happened to the days when science lifted us up instead of pulling us down? What's missing from our equation? Well, it's the same reason our best science teachers got into teaching in the first place. Inspiration. How can we get it back? I'm flying. I heard about the weightless flights of discovery in the last week of school. And I was just sort of stop everything. This is something I have to do before I die. <laughs> I've always imagined what a weightless flight would be. You know, I've dreamed about being in space. Are you kidding? It's like if the plane was outside, we'd all get on it right now. And how cool is it to show that to your students? See, this is your teacher, flying. If I was to go up there, I would take a basketball with me, so I feel like I could slam dunk or something. You know, hang time and the film, you're just there forever. It'd be gorgeous. <laughs> if you kill the child's curiosity, then you've just damaged that child for life. We have to inspire young people. And it cannot just be from a textbook. Nobody's a doctor without having had a teacher to get them there. Nobody's anything without having had teachers to get them there. As a kid, you read the adventures of Tom Sawyer or Treasure Island, and it's the adventure. I'm seeking the unknown, Star Trek, you know, to go where no one's gone before. 